Austin and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. Can he bring it to ya? Creature features and all creatures. Tonight's film is based upon a novel which was later rejuvenated in 2004 to be helmed by Nicole Kidman, Matthew Broderick, Bette Midler, and Glenn Close. Of course, a show like ours has neither the budget nor the cachet to feature a film like this with a cast like that. So we shall instead present for your viewing pleasure the 1975 version which your grandmama likely saw as a teenager at the cinema when it first debuted. But first, the mandatory introductions. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. The dapper chap stood to the side with the outdated tux and the impressive mutton chops is my diligently studious and persistently morose butler, Mr. Livingston. And over here, adorning an outfit quite possibly fitting for tonight's film, whilst foregoing her usual house dress and steel-toed booty shoes, would be the lovely and charming Tangella who is known throughout these parts as the Beelzebub of Bodega Bay, the Devil of Dillon Beach, the Dark Duchess of Duncan's Cove, and the Crypt Creeper of Calvary Cemetery. But those of us who reside here in the Poulton Manor know quite well that she's a fine young lady that loves animals, sweets, and torture devices from the Middle Ages. What? This is the part where you customarily express something disparaging about my young ward. I'll do nothing of the kind. Her abhorrent reputation speaks volumes on its own. Onward. Tonight's film is a good one. And for those of you who have not yet deduced the title of our feature presentation, I shall do so for you presently. The Stepford Wives from 1975. Starring Catherine Ross, Nanette Newman, and Patrick O'Neill, this is an incredible film about a group of ladies in a small town that may not quite appear to be what the rest of the world thinks they are. This film was considered to be quite offensive and controversial when it was released. You'll receive numerous bags of hate mail for airing it. Really? Tangella, what's your opinion of the Stepford Wives? Hmm. Tangella opines that the film captures the last vestiges of bygone era that endured prior to the 1970s and is simply a movie intent on creating fear and trepidation by utilizing a broad pastiche of themes which range from women in the workplace to the intrusion of technology into the previously simple home life of the past. And she also says that Livingston is a doo-doo-headed nincompoop with no concept of fine cinema. Guest-wise, it'll just be the usual crew tonight. We had a fine thespian scheduled to join us, but he was offered a paying gig, which he couldn't turn down and understandably ditched us instead. So don't go away, because it shall be another night of cybernetics fright, right here on Creature Features. You look weird. Stay tuned. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. It feels so real. 
Welcome to Creature Features. Uh, tonight's going to be a fun night because Tangela is not dressed like herself. She has a very nice wig on. Her, you know, if you're just new to the show, her hair is stringier than this, but uh, it's uh, nicely done with the wig. She's in the spirit of tonight's movie, which is Stepford Wives from 1975. And she's, she's actually dressed like a Stepford wife, except they were the 70s and you look like the 50s. But that's all right. No, no, no. No, no, no. The, the hair works, right? Works. It only totally works. She's got the gloves. No, no, no. She could be a Stepford wife. It's I think. retro. At Although, any rate. you know, the Stepford mm -hmm. wives did not murder neighbors and tourists. So there's a slight difference, but only slight. In any case, uh, welcome to the show. It's going to be a really fun night with the Stepford wives movie and uh, our guest tonight. Could not make it. No. They got a job. Well, it's not our fault. So it was, it was supposed to be uh, Jake Busey, and uh, he's a friend of ours. He's been on before, and he got offered some kind of... Did, did we find out what the project was for? I'm still waiting to hear back. Maybe maybe he's going to star in the new Tom Cruise movie. I think that's already been shot. It's in theaters now. Well, I, think, I think he should replace Tom Cruise, is what I'm implying. Ah. No, no, no. I, I, think, I, think, I think the Busey should take out... The cruises. It should should be like a cruise missile against the cruises. I don't know. I'm not sure where you're going with that. No, he's he's you know he, he doesn't understand the American way of things, and I've come to learn. You know, this is this is the way that people here speak, and I I try to be like with my new native country, right? You're doing a good job. She doesn't know what I'm talking about either. Anyways, how you doing, Miss Tangella? You know the Stepford wives speak. So if you want to be a true Stepford wife, you're going to have to speak tonight. You're going to have to say something. Now, we get all this mail from people saying, oh, when's Tangela going to speak? We want to hear the sound of her voice. Yeah, that's all I get. As soon as the camera turns off, she's all yip, yip, yip. She's like one of those small dogs that women carry in a purse, right? Just yip, yip, yip. Yip, yip, yip. She does. She talks just like, she talks just like a Pekingese. It's a known fact. Everybody here knows that. Anyways, uh, I'm with the uh, Jolly team here today. We're going to bring out Andrew in a bit, and uh, we're going to have some fun. So uh, why don't we start this film, right? That would be a good idea. That's right. why they came. All right. Will you do the honors, love? Off we go. See you soon. Welcome back to Creature Features. If you're just joining us, you're silly and you're late. However, you haven't missed much of the film yet. Uh, we've got our little Stepford wife here with us. And uh, what do you think of the film, Tangela? She likes it. So uh, this film, you know, Catherine Ross, who's in this film, has the saddest eyes I've ever seen. And an actress... She can oh. cry. No, it's not that she's crying. She, they're naturally sad. She's got, like, puppy face. Puppy now, face. You know, I wonder if she's got puppy breath as well. No, she's got, she's got eyes like a sad little beagle. Right? She agrees. They're like those paintings with the big eyes. Exactly. See? No, no. She could have been in one of those velveteen paintings from the 60s under the black light. Would have been fun. Anyways, uh, we'll get back to the movie in a moment. But uh, how are you doing, Mr. Livingston? What's new? I'm busy. Trying, busy? Trying to keep up with all the household responsibilities. Yeah, why is he doing this now? Because he's behind schedule. You know, it would be nice if we had a staff that could do this when we're not filming. And that way he wouldn't uh, interrupt I realize our that. Show. I will have a chat with him later. That, that would be nice because, you know, listening to that while we're trying to do a movie just isn't very fun. Look yeah, at yeah. me, I'm Sandra D. Andrew, you need to stop teasing the poor girl. I warned you. I think 
He stops. No, you know, she behaves if she's not teased, is, is my theory. You know, if people would just leave her alone for a moment, she'd be fine. If she'd leave dishes in the kitchen. All right, well, let's not talk about that. Let's, let's, uh, let's get him cleaned up, and let's get back to this film, Stefford Wives, 1975. Don't go away, because we can't. See you soon. It's letter time, it's letter time, it's letter... There's no packages. No, no. You know, this is sad. We used to get packages all the time. Now nobody sends us packages. You know, I think all the package senders have uh, spent their money's worth of packages on us. Perhaps. Yeah. Or maybe it's the shipping charges. That's what it is. It's too expensive to ship anything anymore. Mm. No, just to bring something <clears throat> to Bodega Bay, I think you have to use a horse and buggy, do you not? A, a mule, at least. A mule, mm. yes. Mail for me, sir. Gina Pittman. Gina Pittman, where's she from? Vegas. Vegas. No, maybe. Let's find out. Uh, subject, love the show. This brings me back to Saturdays in Vegas. Vegas vampire hosting creature features. What does that mean? Vegas vampire hosting creature features. Must be some kind of show down there. The Vegas Vampire no, Show. Can you imagine a, a, a horror host show in Vegas? Yes. You, you don't have like dark and stormy nights. You've got like sandstorms and, and scorpions. And flash flooding. And flash flooding. All right. Uh, when it was too hot outside, you could watch the cheesiest horror of some great TV thrillers. Thank you so much for keeping it alive. Watching it right now in Florida. Keep up the great work. Goodly yours, Gina Pittman in Florida. Well, thank you, Gina. And uh, I wonder where in Florida she is. You know, they've got these creatures called alligators in, in, in Florida. And they're like dinosaurs. They're as old as dinosaurs. Well, there's no other state in the Union that has these beasts. Mississippi. Mississippi? I believe so. Do you know how to spell Mississippi? With an M. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. This is from Canada, I believe. Uh, Balfour, British Columbia, no less. All right. This is from Vincent Curley, and he goes, his name's Vincent. As well. I thought I was the only Vincent in this area. I suppose there's a few more. All right. Greetings, Vincent Livingston Tangella from Vincent in Balfour, British Columbia. I really enjoy the show, the guests, and some of the movies are pretty good, too. I, too, am a has-been rock musician. What's he talking about? He's talking about you. Now, I still am been. I am a still been. You still are. No, mm. I saw one of my albums in the, in, the, in the discount bin at Walmart. And if you're a has-been, you do not find your tapes in the, in the bin at Walmart. Really? It's a true story. I, I should know. I bought a few of them. All right. Uh, I, too, my husband, rock musician. I like rocks. I have worked on dinosaur digs as well. Oh, I think he's making a joke. He's a, he's a geologist or something. Ah. Or a paleontologist. Did you write and perform the opening theme song? No. Uh, the voice sounds eerily familiar. Anyways, there is a movie that... Okay, let's cover this first. So the theme song was from the original Creature Feature show from the 70s. Written by who? Beauregard. Beauregard and yeah. something. Yeah, Poppers. Beauregard and the Poppers wrote the song. And then um, uh, Zetro from Exodus, the band. That is a band, right? It it's is not a just band. a religious thing. It's, it's a band. It's a band called Exodus. Uh, he recorded it for us and he made, a, I think it's the more superior version, is it not? The fans rather like it. Well, that does not denote whether it's superior or not. I think it was recorded digitally, whereas the last one was recorded using, like, 
an, an old phonograph type recorder. I believe it was tape. Tape, right? I remember tape. All right, uh, let's see. Anyways, here's a movie I haven't seen since I was a small boy. I think it's called The Thing That Wouldn't Die. I'd love to see it again. It gave me nightmares. All the ghostly best to you all. Keep up the fun work. Vincent Curley in Canada. The Thing That Wouldn't Die. Didn't we show that one once? No, we haven't shown that one. We haven't shown that one. Should we try to get it? Yes. Just for Vincent Curley. And then he could send us another note saying, hey, I saw that movie on your show the other night. Yeah, right? yeah. Thanks for writing, Vincent. West Virginia, Lou Carpenbarker. Oh, that's quite a name. Quite. Carpenbarker. What, uh, what European country do you suppose I that might no be from? I have no idea. I think it's made up. No. When the family came over on the boat. Oh, and, and, and Ellis, Ellis Island, Island thing. thing. Right, right, right. No. It, but it, I would say it was Scandinavian. Carpenbarker? Originally. I don't know. Lou Carpenbacher, West Virginia, goes, I came across your fine show a few months ago on my local public access station, and it's become my Saturday night must-watch show. Regardless if the movie is good or not, you guys and gal, that's this one, put out Bangers Weekly. Livingston is a legend. He cracks me up without even trying. That accent and dry humor is gold. Tangella is an enigma. Yeah, she is an enigma to most people. To Not to me, though, because I understand how this works up there. But uh, to, to the rest of the world, she uh, she's, can be a horror show as well. That girl steals scenes without saying a word. Andrew is hilarious. That poor guy goes through hell. Well, you just saw that frying pan thing. It's You know, he has an intimate relationship with that frying pan. And it's uh, her fault of that and the emergency room and the emergency room vincent is a class act knowledgeable charismatic and he doesn't have to ham it up like other horror hosts to be entertaining I, you know i thought i did ham it up i don't ham it up you do that every week well i know but i you know this is this is like my horror host personality and during the day i'm, I'm somewhat more solemn am i not you're exactly the same all right well you know i cannot i cannot i cannot overrule his observations because he's quite observative most of the time keep up the awesome work as long as you keep pumping out these bad boys you have a loyal fan in west virginia that will be watching lou carpenbacher west virginia well thank you so much lou and we hope everything is nice in west virginia west virginia is the good one right there's virginia and west virginia and i hear one is good and one is not i i don't know it's it's not my judgment it's just, i cannot say it's things that people say to me i don't know all right, that's it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter by email, send it to the address here. Or if you'd like to send us one of the packages that we've missed out on lately, send it to the postal address you see right here. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to get back to the Stepford Wives, and when we return, maybe we'll have Andrew back, eh? If he's back from the emergency room, yes. We'll see. See you on the other side of the break. Welcome back to the show. We are rejoined by Mr. Andrew. How's your head? Like you got a bit of a lump. A wee bit. A wee bit? Yeah, aspirin's kicking in, so. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a little good. better. Are the bell's yeah. still ringing. Uh, he's dedicated. I mean, he's foolish, but he's dedicated, which is, which Agreed. is good. Good, good. Anyways, uh, if you're just joining us, we are watching The Stepford Wives, and Tangella stepped out for a moment. And uh, Andrew has stepped back in. So, Andrew, you've seen some of this film. What do you think? I like it. Right. But what part do you like? Just the old, old-fashioned old values and just... Like the old... The old 50s. The old mannerisms. Oh, yeah. The... I wish I could find myself an old-fashioned girl like that. Oh, well, 
You know, I mean, they're out there. I mean, I'm sure. T T Tangela, okay. go find Andrew, an old-fashioned girl. She'll help you out. She has friends. Good luck with that. No, she does. She does. And what about you, Mr. Livingston? What do you think of this film? I think it's interesting. All right. Well, we all think it's interesting. Tell us why you think it's interesting. It's sort of a look into the past. It is. No, it's a complete look in the past, but a different past. Because I don't remember women ever being this subservient. Not where I came from. Right. No, Germany. No, women in Germany, they, I think they wear the pants in the family, do they not? Indeed. The pantaloons. No, they, they, they wore the pantaloons in his family, right? No, I could be wrong. Anyway, so, so uh, we're going to get back to this movie soon, but uh, for, oh, asking you shall receive. There you go. Uh, that's old-fashioned. It's quite old-fashioned. All right, let's get back to the film, and we shall see you on the other side of the break. Don't go away. Hey, Vincent and Tangella, this is Jim calling from north of Chicago. You are truly much better than Sven Gulli and Elvira. I'm so happy I found you on my smart TV. Tell your viewers they can download the app and then watch you on the big screen. Also, Tangella is fabulous. Thanks so much. Welcome back to the show. We are watching The Stepford Wives, 1975. You know, this is not a bad film. I mean, you like it, right? I like it. Yeah. No, no, no. So this film was originally made as a novel. As many are. As many are. But before this film was made, you had to read it in a book. True. To know the story. And then they took the book and made this film. But the film is slightly different because in the, in the novel... These Stefford wives are wearing mini skirts. In the book? In the book. Right? No, oh. go go dances. So uh, they changed that in this film. And then they made the remake in 2004 with Nicole Kidman. And they brought the mini skirts back. Hmm. Amazing, is it not? I was unaware of that. So, so which would you prefer? The, I vote for the mini skirt. The mini skirts, yeah. why? I think that goes without saying. All right. Well, no. I think, you know, I like the long, flowy dresses with the floopy hats. Mix it up. Yeah. Well, no, no. They did not have floopy hats in the 2004 version. You like the floopy oh, hats. Oh, the sun hats. Yeah. Sun hats. Oh, the sun, is that what they call them? Yes. Well, yeah, I have a sun hat. It's not floopy. So I think there's I'm a difference. I'm not sure what floopy means. Floopy means floopy. Floppy. No, it's floopy. It's, it's the smaller version of flop. It it's not a complete flop. It's a half flop. So it's a floop. Very well. It it's a floop. It's floopy. Anyways, uh, we're going to get back to this uh, floopy film called Stefford Wives. And uh, when we come back, uh, is Tangela coming back? I asked, said that she could come back if she behaved mm. herself. All right. So maybe we'll have Tangela back if she behaves herself. So you guys behave yourself, and we will see you on the other side of the break. Bye. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, 
Your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. So it would appear that Bobby is no longer Bobby. They keep changing over time. Well, this, this happens in, in the town of Stepford. It's a known phenomenon. Anyways, uh, welcome back. We're watching Stefford Wives 1975, and we are rejoined by Miss Tangella. What do you think of the film? No, you have to use your speaking voice and tell the people. No, what do you, what do you think of the film? Oh, really? She just told me the bloody, bloody ending of the film. Oh, no. She spoiled the film for You know, I have not seen this film. And she just blew the ending for me. Well, we know what Tangella thinks of this film. She thinks it's something to spoil my night with, right? Are you saying it's predictable? You know, you don't pretend. You know the end of this film. I, I'm I the do. only one in this room who has not seen this film, and now I know the end. Well, before. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Well, it's already been spoiled for me. Anyways, up. Uh, Let's get back to the film, and uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to discuss the end of the film, right? A bit. Right. And then I can talk about the end of the film. So, don't go away, please. <laughs> This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. And so ends the Stepford Wives, the Stepford Robots. So it would appear. No, well, she told me ah. they're all robots. They're not androids? Well, I suppose any robot that looks like a human is an android. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of debate over this, mm. right? Because, you know, most robots look like androids, right? Two arms, two legs. Kind of. But robots don't think. Well, of course they bloody think. I mean, these, these think to a degree, right? 
There were, I saw a robot in this film making a souffle. Perhaps it was requested. So it was like programmed. It was like a chip yeah. inside. Souffle making chip. That's he could I'm be thinking. right, you know. You know, he's right sometimes. I, I cannot argue with him continuously. Anyways, not a bad film. We'll show it again in 2.5 years, right? About that. About, about that, maybe. We'll see. Anyways, that's it. So thank you so much for watching our show this weekend. We hope you had fun. We had fun because you joined us and we love you. And anytime you're with us, we always have fun. So we'll see you next week and have a wonderful rest of your weekend. So uh, Tangela, I'm thinking maybe you could forego your typical attire and just stick with this.